So the next stage of our tour around the New Holland stand brings us to this gargantuan machine, the New Holland CR11 Combine. Obviously, this is a much, much anticipated development in the New Holland Combine portfolio. Tell me, let's start at the beginning. Tell me what it brings to the table. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. And um, so the main idea about this new whole concept, everything is new. Everything, Everything. so 95% of the parts are new. Right. Um, the whole idea of the combine, and you see it already, it's bigger and, and so on. Um, but the main idea with the combine is to reduce the total cost of harvesting. And the performance, of course, is everything about yeah, a bigger combine, a little bit longer, uh, bigger rotors, bigger grain tank, 20,000 liter grain tank, 210 liter unloading system. Um, so that's a massive numbers. Um, and you can see it already, it's, it's huge. Um, a little bit later we will open the, the, the doors right. and when we can, then we can have a look inside and uh, then you really see uh, what, what like you mean. how big it is. Yeah. So we have our, our main genetic is, uh, we still have the, the twin rotor system in it, right, yeah. but uh, the losses are the main driver of the, of the cost for a farmer. Yeah. And with this combine, we really, uh, so the target has to have a zero loss combine. And zero loss, that's a uh, huge word. That's a high benchmark. In the last summer, last season, I was with the combine. I threw many pens under the combine. Um, you can't find anything. So we, we are re really, really close to the car target if you find one to three kernels in the, in the grain pen. So that's unbelievable. We are very, really, very, very close to the, to the zero loss combine. And that is one of the main, main driver um, to, to raise, uh, to, to uh, bring the, the total cost of harvesting down. It's right. also important thing. Here you see we have a 50 foot header in the front, so 15 meter 50. That's big. <laughs> but 50 meters. 15 meter 50. And now we need to bring it back. If you have a look at the, in the residue management, mm -hmm. it's a hard, hard challenge to have an equal spreading, a, a very, very good chopping system in it. Right. Um, the wind is blowing in, in the UK. We know, we know it. It's, it's, it's windy. A lot of. Uh, bad, not, not nice weather situations yeah, exactly. to, to uh, perform nice uh, with, with the combine. But with this system, we are able um, to work with a 60 foot header in the front uh, and we are able to spread it evil and, and equal. The engine now is uh, not anymore in the same, pr uh, same position uh, that we have in the past. Also. So uh, we, we turn it 90, 90 degrees. So in a longitude position, we have the same angle like, like the rotors have. We have two CVT transmission in it. So um, one CVT transmission for the rotors, right. one CVT transmission for the feeder hole, for the feeder and for the um, for the header. Right. Um, we do not have any more drive chains, no chain anymore in this combine, no drive chain in this combine. So a totally new concept um, in, in point of drive line and design. Everything is new. I open the doors and then we can have a look yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, just on the, on the size of the combine. Directly the first view we have on the, on the big, big rotors. It's bigger, but it's much longer. 50% longer as our normal one. And now we talk still about the world record headers. The 10.90 is still the world record. And this one, um, yeah, put everything on the new level um, point of view. So 10.90 still has the record, I believe, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. Yeah. somebody said to me when we were talking early before we went on camera that this has got 25%, is it 25% greater output? Or is that an exaggeration? Yeah, compare if we, uh, small grains uh, or large grains, uh, we talk about 20 to 40%, uh, uh, but that's big, big numbers. <laughs> so what sort, what sort of horsepower are we talking in this machine? It's our Cursor 16, so 60 litre engine yeah. with uh, 775 horsepower. Right. Um, yeah, but it's not, that is not the main message to have a bigger engine in it. No, uh, no, our that. main me message is uh, we are much uh, more efficient with the drive line. Mm -hmm. So we do not need too much uh, more horsepower. Um, the efficient of the drive line, and uh, a little bit later I will uh, tell you more about that. So we uh, have 20% less fuel consumption if we, if we talk about uh, yeah, tons per, uh, how many tons the combine uh, harvested. In terms of output, so we can understand what we're talking about. We hear manufacturers quote output for these combines. What sort of output are you? John, if you talk to John Deere, which is one of your big competitors, and stuff mm. like that, yeah. you say, well, what does that combine, what do we looking in terms of output with this machine? Yeah. So, um, let's don't, we don't talk about John Deere. We talk about New Holland. Yeah. The world record holder <laughs> is placing here as a 10.90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have the world record. 
And this one is the next level on top of that. So are we, are we, are we 100 tons an hour, 110 tons an hour? 120 tons an hour. We will see it in the field, but you can be uh, very. So we are proud because we know what the combine can do. And again, the next level of harvesting we have here. So with basically, what you're saying is you've got to wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But let's have a look again on the rotors here. Um, so you see everything. Our our current CR. Uh, we also have uh, yeah, big big uh, service doors. Here it's even bigger. Um, but you see also the drive lines. He has nothing. There's no, it's, it, that is, there's no, it's very simple, isn't it? Very yeah, yeah. Simple. And now in Germany, we have the rule the maximum width of the combine uh, has to be 3.49 meter. I'm not sure about the UK, but we are able to bring, uh, of course, we have also tracks for, for uh, the new CR, um, but we are able to bring wider tracks on the unit within 3.49 meter because we are smarter with the drive line. One of the, the main reasons is the DFR, that is the, the, the drum in the front, um, what feeds uh, feed the, the, the rotors. Right, yeah. Now, now we, we bring the, 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 the energy, we bring through the left rotor to the top of the, 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 the feeder house, then with the small gearbox to the left side, we synchronize, we synchronize the, the DFR and have more performance there and less belts. So, so you, great. the engine drives the, the rotors, the left one of the rotors, the left rotor, mm. then the, it, the power is transmitted from there to a transmission, the and then that powers the transmission which drives the, the, the DFR at the front. The left rotor is, is the drive line, brings it out and then bring it to the DFR. And on the right side, I will show you a little bit later, uh, we have other drive shafts there, um, that one brings, uh, brings uh, uh, the, the power to the, to the uh, header and the feeder. So, so uh, I mentioned there's uh, more capacity in that combine, uh, 20 to 40 percent, mm -hmm. and we are just two percent heavier than a 10.90. We do not have any more of the PSD belt. We do not have any more shaft spreader. We have just one uh, return. Right. So the 10.90 the, the have two of them. So we reduce uh, we re reduce all the the, the components, and um, so make it easier. So that is a, that is also main message to uh, reduce the weight and and don't increase the weight. But here, let's have a look on the residue management. Okay. Residue management, everything what you can think about is uh, now, um, is you can, can, can use from the cab. You right. don't need to Control from the cab. Control from the cab. Here, the chopper now is turning in the other direction. So on the, it's turning clockwise. Um, and we are here, we are also, we are uh, also working in the, in the closed loop idea. So, this component is working with a with an grain cam, right. and not with a grain cam, with a chop cam, sorry, yep. with a chop cam. And the idea is, um, this combine need to harvest also on, in time when it's not very comfortable, so wet, uh, tough in condition and so yeah. on. Um, and now the idea is, the, the operator at 9 o'clock in the morning and put 2 cm of chop, chopping quality. And now the, the harvest day started on and we are at, at, at uh, lunchtime. Um, and it's much easier to harvest, much easier to, to, to chop. And so the system detects every 20 seconds the real, the real uh, chop lengths. Okay. And now the counter knife is put out.